You know what time it is? Another unboxing. And I actually have a desk this time, so it won't be like dumb looking. Well, as dumb looking. But you know, as soon as you turn the light on, you can definitely see my bra, but hey, you're not seeing my titties, so don't complain. Don't you complain though? What am I unboxing today? I'm unboxing my husband for the second time. I know, this is kind of weird. I just unboxed him, what, like, I have no idea, like a month, two months ago, a couple months ago. I have no idea. I'll link the video at the end. But, The Witcher, yes. We're unboxing my husband yet again. Uh, not chibi husband, though. It's real husband, which I'm excited for. So, if you didn't know, um, Dark Horse, they're like a manufacturing company. They make like comic books or publish comic books. They do statues, merch, and all that crap. Um, but I believe it was, it was either last April Fools or the April Fools before that, they debuted a Witcher statue in a bathtub as a joke. And people actually ended up wanting this so they ended up making it and this is what i'll be unboxing today so this is just in front of the box which are three it's the girl in bath statuette or statue i don't know i'm gonna say statuette because i even say herbs kill me all right and we got you know the witcher medallion for the wolf school school wolf yeah that thing got a closer view of my daddy. And, uh, yeah, yeah, let's get it. It looks like it doesn't have any tape on the outside, which I'm, I'm totally fine with, because I don't like tape. Ooh, okay. So, starting off with a certificate of authenticity. Weird flex, but okay. Or is it, is it literally just the card? So, there's the card. I've never had a Dark Horse um, figure before, so I guess, I don't know, this might be normal for them. They do end up having a lot of knockoffs, so I guess it's a good thing that they print that. But I feel like this is easy to print too. But I could be wrong, I don't know. I've, this is my first Dark Horse figure, and I'm pretty excited. Yeah, in the box, there's a whole bunch of styrofoam, and they actually have like their uh, logo for Dark Horse and the styrofoam. Kind of cool, I guess. And then we're gonna... Whoa. Okay, we got a giant thing of styrofoam and people around it. I'm gonna get you down to a um, better level. There we are. I think that's, that's not much better. Oh well. I didn't really think about this. This is my first way of shooting it like this, so complain all you want. Give me some feedback. Okay, well, close enough. We'll open it this way. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay. This is uh, way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Man, you know, girls don't usually say that, but I've been saying that a lot on this channel. But anyway. So there he is, there's my husband, uh, it looks like we got some poison packets on him, I'm going to lift him out of here, okay, leave this out. some lit candles on it. Uh, could you like actually focus now? There you go. All right. Now this little rubber ducky. You got some feet for you feet freaks out there. Not me, but for you. Got his, his man pony. Oh wow, a lot of detail. I like it. It's a close-up of his face, maybe. Makeup tutorial. Let's focus, no. I'm trying to focus on his face. Not really working out, though. Oh, 
Okay. He, he looks kind of sad, to be honest. Okay. And the bottom. Oh, there's actually stuff on the bottom. List what it is. It's probably great, so people won't knock that off. You'll definitely know it's the actual version. But yeah. Let me actually, like, angle up a bit. It's not as detailed as the pictures show it was, but it does look pretty sculpted and eh. I mean, I have like, of course I have more figures that are more detailed. So overall my impression is it does look really dope for sure. You can definitely tell it's the Witcher, especially like this pose you see. Like, you can see him, and if you played the game, like, you know this is The Witcher. Um, the detail, it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan of the detail, but this was only, um, it was under $80 for this. So for this size, and this, like, pretty solid quality, I would say it's a good price. Um, I do have, you know, I have more figures that are more detailed and all of that, and just the sculpting is better because you can kind of tell like the feet they didn't really sculpt them like as good as they could they're kind of just stuck together but uh otherwise i like it it's pretty solid i definitely well it's my husband so i can't not like my husband let's be real but yeah that's my unboxing uh his face is kind of sad that's like my biggest disappointment uh it's kind of like well it's like muddied, but it's not, ugh. Like his face does look muddy looking, but it's not like the muddy I like, I guess. Um, I still like it though. I'd give him, I'd give it props to actually making this figure that they're just joking about. So props to Dark Horse. Again, this is my first Dark Horse figure, so I'm kind of basing it off the ones I have, which are, I guess, more to, uh, like a OCD quality, I guess. I don't know. I feel like they take more time in sculpting than they took time in this. But otherwise, I think from a distance, like I definitely like it. But close up, it's kind of awkward. So like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Me and my husband will have to figure out where I need to put him because I don't really have room. Again. Bye bye.